Hello, my name is Martin van Zutten. I'm from Smoos, and we are invited on the booth of Canonical. And we have for you Ubuntu Touch on the Fairphone 2. Cool, and uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Marius Gripsko, and uh, I'm the founder and main developer at UB Ports. Uh, so what is UB Ports? UB Ports is a community project that tries to, to port Ubuntu Touch to as many phones as possible. Uh, and this is one example of that. So you port Ubuntu Touch to, what is the CPU here? The CPU here is a Snapdragon 801. So you got Snapdragon 801, fully Ubuntu... Uh, yeah, fully support. Ubuntu working on it. Uh, you can have an example here. Uh, I do, for example, have network on it. Uh, I do have Wi-Fi on it. Uh, and I also, Bluetooth is working on it. Uh, GPS is working on it. Uh, and everything is working on it. So you are uh, great at porting software? Yeah, I would say that, yeah. Yeah, and what else are the challenges to get uh, a great Ubuntu phone? Uh, the challenge that we have uh, the most is um, with binary blobs and closed source drivers. Uh, those are really the main issues that we have, uh, is that we, we don't have the control over the software that we really want. So uh, do you have to reverse engineer Adreno? Yeah. Uh, I, there's a free Adreno. Uh, like maybe you don't even need that for Ubuntu. No, we don't need Adreno for this. Uh, we are using, uh, to debug, we are thinking about, we do need uh, ADB we use for debugging and also we can use uh, JTAG if uh, that's necessary. So the Fairphone, the idea is to make a phone that's fair, right? Yes, correct. Fairphone is a phone that is totally environment friendly made. It's totally modular. You can exchange everything you want. But, uh, for example, when the camera model breaks down, you can just remove the model and uh, you can fix the camera. Yeah? Also, if the screen is... Oh, let's check it out here. What do you do? What do you just do here? I I just opened up the screen here with the two tabs here yeah. and then slide it forwards and then you can just open it up. And you can see here every module is labeled and screwed in. What? So you can just screw it up and change the, uh, the part and then also uh, if Fairphone make upgrades you can also swap, swap up upgrades uh, to the, for example a better camera. You can swap out stuff from your phone. Yes, correct. For real. Yes, it is really. This phone is made to not to uh, just throw away your phone when the screen is broken. It's really made that you can, you know, you only buy the screen. If you only buy the camera model, only you buy, you only buy the part that is missing of its defect. So it's really made that uh, the phone has a long, long, long activity. That is really important. So this is a modular phone, but where the modules are actual real modules, yes. not just fake modules. No, no, no. You can oh, buy them. Called? You can buy them on the website. You can buy the different yes. parts. Parts they're on the website fairphone.com. But is it standard parts or is yes. it uh, customized for your designs, right? Yes, it's custom uh, fair trade made yeah. for this design. Because they're not soldered in. How do how do they fit in? <laughs> So how do they, they how do you fit all these different parts? You need a screwdriver. Uh, also they are like uh, little screws to keep them really fine. firm together. Screw. But only one screwdriver is enough. With one screwdriver you can totally take this phone in a couple of seconds if you're handy. You can take it apart and you can uh, you fix your phone. Uh, and everybody knows about this, right? How popular are you? Uh, in Holland we're very popular. We have won yeah. a lot of prizes. And, uh, how many people buy this? Um, <laughs> I don't know because we are not the maker of the phone. Uh, we only do the software part, uh, the Ubuntu Touch part. Normally, the device will be sold with Android. What I heard about Fairphone is that it was uh, not using any of the minerals from uh, Congo, correct. The, the war in Congo. Is yes, that true? Correct. Can correct. you guarantee that? Yeah, the Fairphone can guarantee that. We are not from Fairphone, we are from Smooth. And Fairphone is the, the manufacturer, so they can explain everything to you about how it is made and how it is produced. So they don't take any of this stuff from the war area? Correct. 100% guarantee? You have to ask them. But this, uh, they are uh, really a very trustful company, uh, company and they really make very good products. And they're very fair trade. It's not called uranium, but it's called uh, something else. <laughs> yes, correct. Here you can see the root, where the, where the gold is taken from. It's even like, an, like a map inside. Thank you so much. What was that? That is the map of the country where the gold is taken from. The place so you where took the map from uh, where? What is this? You can see it there. Is Australia? No, what is it? No, no, it's somewhere, I don't know, <laughs> but it's yeah. somewhere, uh, I think in Africa or something. I What's think that? they made a movie about that. Yeah, uh, that's the gold movie. And uh, 
Indonesia, Indonesia maybe. Yes. And uh, uh, probably not. You can see in the proximity the port, the port that is not have used yet. But it, 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 was, uh, it was a design that they, you know, that you could put additional parts on the phone. That you what can you put there? It is like a... Second camera. It's like it's you can have a tango. Turn it into a tango phone. I don't know. You have to ask Fairphone for this. But they, uh, it's a very good phone. Very but the model. Fairphone one was Android, right? Correct. And now you're going over to Ubuntu on the phone. What's the main uh, strategy to do that? We we believe we are from the UbiPods uh, uh, yeah. community, and we really yeah we, we really have a mission in life to port uh, Ubuntu on many uh, many devices as possible. Because so, Ubuntu is. Uh, it's not South, South African, but let's say it's not the American. Uh, uh, like, what would you say is the main advantage of using Ubuntu instead of uh, Android? I would say the main uh, is a, one of is uh, for example about security. Uh, we also have a newer kernel uh, than and one has, uh, and we also you can get it into develop uh, to uh, desktop mode. What did you just remove there? This is a camera module I just removed. Uh, and I can also remove, for example, the back here. I just remove the parts like this. What is that? The antenna? Uh, no, this is the charge circuit. Uh, ah, you turn it into USB C because why not? Yeah. Right? Uh, if if they operate it, you can turn it into USB. Yeah. See. Right. Yeah. And uh, so when you say it talks to Fairphone, who's Fairphone? Are there some guys from Fairphone? No, no, no. Fairphone is in Hall Eight. In Hall Eight is in a different stand, and they, that is the Fairphone stand. And there you can have ask all the questions about so, Fairphone. And that may be something about the Ubuntu, might, uh, you know, uh, instead of having everything, uh, I'm not going to say controlled by the CIA, but let's say controlled by Google, I'm talking about yeah. uh, Then you have a, you know, different strategy. Yeah, what you're saying is exactly true, uh, because uh, Google is the CIA, they do a lot of tracking in this, and on Ubuntu there is none. There's no tracking at all. Nobody's tracking you at all. Nobody. You didn't put the back door because no. you, you would know how to do it, right? Yeah, yeah I would. But uh, my source is open source. Uh, so if you don't trust me, you you can build it by your own. I think uh, people can trust it, right? Yeah. You can take the battery out. You can take the, you can take the battery out because this camera. If you could take the battery out, all spyware is dead. Nice. So you can uh, swap battery. What else can you swap? Can everything. 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 That's weird. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Anybody else is doing this? Uh, no, no, I think we are, one of, one, we are one of the Fairphone. Is one there was of the a project Ara. Yeah, from Google. Yes. Yeah. That was like an external module thing. And yeah. It didn't work out. Actually. No, no. They, they failed. And Fairphone succeeds. But there's a Moto Z Moto mods. That's another idea. But that's it's still not modular. Just outside. Yeah, it's just you are just changing one part. I would say it's not. It is modular, but this is much more so modular. So there's a, um, you said Snapdragon 801. So what if I want to put a Snapdragon 835 on uh, you, Can you swap out the, the PCB? Oh, that's, uh, you better take a picture of the person. Where's the PCB? Right while you... Right there. Can you, sh can you show it? Because if you... Because if you remove everything, then there's nothing left, so... Yeah, this is the main board, yeah. and these are the contacts for the peripherals, for all the other modules with the frame, and that's it. This, this part is not interchangeable, of course, it's the, the base for the telephone. Maybe it will be in the future, who knows, but... Yeah, so yeah. ARM processors are not quite like, uh, you know, you can't just suck it and take them out and put them in and put another one in. No, they... Uh, yeah, it would be really nice, but uh, they don't really work like that. Uh, but in the future, maybe. That's, maybe. Uh, and, uh, so it's stable? Uh, because uh, it's not going to break like this? It's super well made? Yes. We use it as a daily driver, this phone. So the, 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 the image that we have now is really stable. So how popular? You say it was very popular in the Netherlands. Where else is it popular? In Germany, for example, and other countries in Europe, it's very uh, popular. Fairphone uh, win a, uh, multiple prizes, so it's very in, all, in Europe. It's very popular, so we have to, you know, make more uh, promotion that it becomes popular all, all around the world. Everybody that cares about environment, cares about privacy, and wants a really open source telephone with really good operating system. This is the choice. This is the time to buy it. And it's a non-profit, right? No, I'm joking. But uh, the profit yeah. is distributed fairly, maybe among all the. 
contributors to the project? So how does it work? Uh, with Fairphone, we we really don't know because we are not from Fairphone. Uh, so yeah, you know, bring these two parties together. So we have Canonical on one side, you have Fairphone on the other side, and we are only the person that make a combination of these two products. So if Fairphone, yeah, you have to ask Fairphone for this. How is the community going? How many guys are in there? Oh, the community is growing really fast. We now have about 250 members if you combine the forum, the telegram and everything around it. Uh, in the telegram alone, we have about 150 people.